Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Eldrazi video. We're playing Sire of Seven Deads. Seven mana, seven seven, seven keywords. This card is perfect in a deck with Eldrazi Temple and the Ugin's Labyrinth. Uh, we are playing the aggro version, because I despise the one ring, and I don't want to see it in any modern deck forever. It is still legal, but uh, I'm trying to build this deck without it. We have my preview card, Eldrazi Linebreaker. Uh, always happy to see this dude going around. A Glaring Flesh Raker, very, very strong. Unfortunately, in this format, there's no Mox Diamond or Lotus Petal to pump it up and play it as early as turn one, but it is a strong card. Um, so yeah, I think this card is better in a deck with aggressive creatures, so that the word seven actually matters. Otherwise, it's just a dude that dies to removal, and uh, who cares if you play it in a ramp deck, like the Eldrazi ramp, or the, uh, I don't know, Tron, or whatever it is. We are uh, on the draw with a strong hand. Planes, okay. Turn one, Wugin's Labyrinth. I'm pitching the Sire, and I'm playing Izamaru, the colorless Izamaru. Go. Yeah, you can do Sire and Linebreaker and attack for a million. Demolition Field, oh no. Well, I do have three basics, but yeah. I think the opponent deck is the... Ah, ma che cazzo, pescata subito, ma affanculo. I think the opponent deck is like the mono white control with uh, eight demolition field. Obviously, you'd never want to draw wastes or basics against them. It's like literally skipping a draw step. Not just that, you are actually much closer to Stone Rain. Yeah, Reality Smasher did not make the cut. Yeah, no, no, no. We don't, we don't play those cards anymore. The opponent passes. I could go K Command for one. It's not great, but I'll do it. Is Mesher in this deck? I don't think so. It's not. Alright, you're blowing up my land. Rip. Come on, let's find the line breaker. Terrible land. This member. Not great. What's that? Words chant. Okay. Oh, did you know I was going to draw that? I put three pass. Okay, Demolition Field. I still have another basic in my deck. They drew one. Isaac Crown Scepter. Yeah, I'll put it like that deck. I streamed with it yesterday. It's on my... It's on my league, if you check it out. It's on my YouTube channel already. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, Reprieve is much better than Remand, because actually Cavern of Souls doesn't um, let me cast it, so I'm not going to do anything. I'll just play land and pass, because I don't want you to um, draw hard with it. I mean, I could have resolved a Drazi Mimic. Maybe, maybe that was better. But I don't know, just making you draw hard doesn't seem that great. Okay, so now it's a different story. Because now, you can just cast any spell and then reprieve it to draw a card. But I don't think you have any spells. I'm just playing a land and passing again. I just don't want you to draw a card. I want you to die to what I have in play. Ideally, you just can't do anything with the Azure Conceptor. Just activate the Demolition Field and pass. Yeah. I played that deck yesterday. It's very clunky. Oh, you have March. All of a sudden, I don't have a clock anymore. Now I wish I played some creatures. So, 
Yeah, it was not the best play at the end of the day. All right, then let's go with Drazi Mimic and uh, let's see what happens. Make it uncounterable. Maybe my opponent uh, doesn't counter it because they think it's uncounterable. Although, again, Reprieve just says return, it doesn't say counter. <sighs> okay. It's resolved. All right, I'll do it again. Drazi Mimic. Yeah, that reprieve it this time. Uh, yeah, that mono white uh, top eight, at least top eight a challenge because I net decked it from there. But right, the guardian coming. Hey, it is what it is. Fifth land. Yeah, put him passes. Orms chant kicked. Orms chant kicked. Pass. This is what uh this is what my opponent felt yesterday, huh? <laughs> I can destroy all my lands here. But I have two two ones in play. These are attacking. I'm not gonna search. Okay. Um, yeah, this is actually good. I can cast on that seer. Counterable. He can't be counter opponent. <laughs> Reprieve it. And then I go Drazi Temple, Ton not seer. And uh, yeah, let's hope they don't have another Reprieve. That will be eight damage if this resolves. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, they're gonna path to exile, of course. Or they can have five lands in end and die. They have solitude, pitching, pitching a wrath of God. Wow. What do you exile? You exalt Tonnets here. You want to draw a card? Okay. Four cards. What do you have? Those are Path Exam and Mimics. You do. Okay. Well, well, we have a plan. My plan has two lands in end. And they have a, and they have a two one. My opponent is a five, so I do have a plan here. Just need them to, you know, not do much, not draw much. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, surely it is a two one. It'll get there. I'll play all these lands. I have no other reason to. Let's go, Vitapiro. One is a three.
you what are you doing? <laughs> Cast this. <laughs> Alright, let's 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 hope. Let's hope they just drew three lands or four lands. Maybe yeah, they need to draw a lot of lands. No, they're casting a spell. What is it? What is it? A area call? Okay. Okay, if I draw a Eldrazi Temple or Ayavugin, or sorry, Ugin's Labyrinth, or a Dismember too, sure. All right. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, I wanted to cast all this dust, but I guess this also works. All right. Attack. You're a one? Just die, opponent? Just die? Just die? Come on? <laughs> You're a one? Please die? Great win for the old Jurassic deck! Woo! <laughs> uh, Alright. Now, on the draw. Jumps on cover, we have flute. We side out, all is dust. What else? Probably whiskey biomage is very good too, yeah. Whoever doubted it, right? This member seems bad. I guess I can call land. Can I? Yeah, Prismatic Vista sucks. Probably want to cut two of them, actually. To come one more card. In Transfer Beginning and Scepter. Nah, it's. It's card disadvantage. I don't know. And it needs to be good. I already have Flute, which is. Which is awkward. But I think I won it. I had to cut one card. And I don't know what to cut. Because everything is great. Especially Sarah Seven Death. I mean, you need a, at least eight for the Yugin's Labyrinth. Alright, I'll cut another Prismatic Vista. Just basically no lands. Kekomen may not be great. Uh, what do I want Battle Mage to target? Doesn't it? Isn't it a disenchant? Sorry. Yeah, Artifact or Enchantment. I mean, at least a Grand Scepter. Sure, like if they put Orin's Chant and they lock you down, it's not good, but you know. Yeah, multi five because we have no lands, I guess. But like Prismatic Vista is really terrible in this matchup because you're taking out lands. Like you're taking out basics from your deck so that they can storm rain you better. And I don't think in this matchup you need to necessarily hit all your land drop. Like it's super slow matchup. Monopoly, let's go. Your deck is already boring. Don't also make me wait before we start. By the way, just yesterday I posted a video with that deck on my channel. So there's also the podcast episode. Yeah. The Mono White Reason. This was the deck. Is this the first match? Yes. Yes, first match. How's it work in the new Big Old Drazi? Never drew it. But I mean, it's a, it's a big thing. Die, come on. That's okay. Alright, another thing that we will play later is going to be uh, DB underscore Piegonti, MTGO. No, Mesikyama, DB underscore, whatever. Uh, oh, -hoo! Woo -hoo! we have turn one, Glaring Flesh Raker. Let's do it. Yeah. 
It'd be Merc Pie. Thank you, thank you. With you, though. Let's go. Grazi Temple. Glaring Flesh Raker. This card is broken on turn one. Like again, you do that only in uh, Legacy, but I guess you can get lucky in Gemstone covering it out. Okay, let's play another one of this. This thing can, can kill on turn on turn three. Then I'll replay it. On turn, I think we can kill on turn three with this with this hand. So good. Next turn, I can cast this into that, and it's for sure lethal, for sure. Okay, so they go. They use the combo, so I can see that they'll feel the ruin to disrupt me. Drew basic mountain, by the way. She's again the downside of uh, it. That her odds the end is so good now. It even pumps my creatures and deals more damage. They're just dead. They're just easily dead here. This is gonna be like so much damage. Okay, so I have lethal on the stack, but I just don't play it until uh until I want. I I've I've lethal here. As soon as my opponent moves, they go Wrath of God, which is go close this command. 40 million damage. I don't want to count how much damage I have. Easy game! This is this is what happens when you play Eldrazi in Legacy. When you play Eldrazi in Legacy and you draw two Flesh Raker, it's it's over. Like the game doesn't even start. So when we had Eldrazi Temple and Gemstone Cavern, it, it felt it felt Legacy. Two on the play, vamos. Uh, this hand is awful. Awful. Full of O. Oh, this hand is good. I'm gonna bottom these. With a secluded courtyard. Let's go. Why is there green man in the list? Uh, well, having basic land is strong for the Field of Ruin. Also, you have Wastescape Battle Mage in the sideboard. Tamio? Wow. Can't remember. Wow. This was the start. Nice mango. This was the start that I love to do at the beginning of the game, of the of the format. Tamio Double Bubble. Yes, I just top decked. Cavern. Uh, close the X command. Exactly. Put my opponent to crack both of their bubbles. Nah, actually, who cares? Let me just kill that. Exalt target creature and draw a card. Yeah, being on the plays. Not it. Bene, bello lui. Well, ideally, I would have played a, a Flesh Raker, but I'm putting it just flips a Planeswalker on turn two. I think it's a little bit too early for that. 
affinity. Intermoon, ma che cazzo dici? Wintermoon. Oh, e caboia. I want my basics now. Io caro, Wintermoon. I want my basics now. All right, this guy's good. Yeah, we're in the prison league. So basically what happens in modern right now is that the one ring just made the whole format casual because people just don't want to play that card and just everyone is just, yeah, just yeah, we're so casual. <laughs> okay. Skookin's Labyrinth, pitch this. Hmm. My problem is, if I put it as a counter spell for my Glaring Flesh Raker, it's a little bit annoying. But if not, I can literally just go big, go off. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play Flesh Raker, make a token. Hopefully, they don't counter it. And then I. Do this. I mean, I do this anyway, but yeah. And boom. I want to, want, wanted to prison me, but little did I know I don't need lands when you have Glaring Flesh Raker. And prison this guy. How did it burn League go? 3 2. Solid. Solid 3-2. Ornithopter, that's unexpected. You flip Tamyo, which is actually strong, because all my spawn were... were it gets Kappa, okay. Well... There's still a lot of damage, opponent. I'll not see are you. You're three life. Que cosa? What? Until next turn, whenever a creature until next turn, whenever a creature attacks you, or a planeswalk control gets minus two minus O. Oh. This card, any number of cards, investigate twice which card is carded this way. Shuffle up to three cards from your graveyard into your library. Alright, let's hope I can keep on drawing two glare and flesh raker every game. Games are easy when you do that. Are right, on the draw, so this comes in. Well, we'll stop Battle Mage in. All this stuff can kill Kappa Cannon here, so I think I'll hold it. Yeah, sideboarding is tough with this deck. Uh, I'll take out a land. This time, Prismatic Vista is actually great. I'll take out, I don't know, Sanctum of Eugene. And three eat that arouse the end. Maybe mimic is worse, I don't know. Alright, wow, well, two pre-game action, that's funny. Pitch to it. I may actually pitch the bar of destiny to it. Does this have to be in my hand? No, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll pitch to it. It it's it, it did its job. <laughs> the bar of destiny showed up and left immediately. Just <laughs> the the meme with uh, the Simpson that just comes in, shows the hat, and goes back away. <laughs> uh hmm. These cards are all weak. I don't want any of them. I'm gonna say no. Maybe the oh, Baba Di Mara Namia Wonderful Alright, they can go Winter Moon. So they can have also a counter spell. 
No, I think it's more likely that they have Counterspell than Winter Moon. So I'm gonna go Eldrazi. They can have the 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 um, the count the common counters uncommon counterspell. Grandpa Simpson, exactly. Mm. Yeah. Ay yeah yeah. This member could have been on top. And also as a saga, it's usually it's usually very, very strong. Yeah, now wish wish I had the wish I had the um, This member probably would have played that over Glaring Flesh Raker. Anyway, top for two. Hello, Mr. Chimba. Yeah, good to have you here. <sighs> well, two Cavern of Souls, uh, two gems on Cavern, one main, one side. Hey, they can replay bubble. Oh, they have a third land, unfortunately. The top the, the construct is gonna be a 3-3, three, three, which is actually too big. Attenzione, attenzione, attenzione. Alright, so what can I do here? I can go close the X command. Kill the construct, make tokens. Hmm. No, I think I want to go Thought Nuts here. I want to slow roll, cause the X command. Good job, ARC. Thank you. Uh, no, it has to be a 4 4. Uh, Drazi Mimic 4-4, four, four, yes. And you have an end. Oh, you do have Consign to Memory. Nice. Yeah, Consign to Memory, unfortunately, will be able to counter Kozilek's command. Unless they never draw land. Which is possible. Visually stay away from drama. Yeah, I think drama is, uh, I don't know, for people that don't really know what else to say. Thankfully, I have a lot of content to say. Okay, what do we do here? Cup of Calendar, Consent to Memory. Consent to Memory is good against Cozy's command, but if make a construct, they don't have mana. But if they draw it, they will have mana forever. So I think. Uh, I think I have to consign to memory. Yeah, just because if they draw land, I think it's too bad the fact that I can just counter my card this way. So their constructs are huge. My only way to win is through ping damage by clearing Flesh Raker and K Command. So that's why I think I had to take the consign. Although if they go Shadow Spear, they have Kappa plus Shadow Spear is pretty broken. So I probably lose this game. Despite all of the um, good cards I had this game, my opponent just, just had a better time, I think. Let's see, we'll see. I mean, Kuzia's command right now deals so much damage, right? Where do I find a match versus Enigmatic Incarnation? Well, Enigmatic Incarnation is the luckiest deck to be ever. <laughs> good in a 
competitive format. So sometimes they just do nothing and die. And sometimes they just have the nuts. And if it's against you, well, GG, boop. Pioneer is very much like that. Like sometimes your Phoenix opponent reanimates three Phoenix on turn three. You know, you lose. Threats are too strong. There's not enough good answers. And, uh, you know, stuff like that happens. And MH2, perfect set, because the answers were so much better than the threats. Okay, so my opponent has the combo, Tamiya plus Podcast. Man, that hand of four cards was so strong. So, so strong. Oh, they have, a, they have, they have a land so they can equip the shit. Oh, no, you, you play Kappa already? E la Madonna, ma ci spacca a tua metà, praticamente. <sighs> okay. If you go to the rods the end, I'll make a token. And then I can cake him in for two. Well, I can go like K command on. I don't I don't have any chance. I don't have any chance to win this. They have Kappa plus Shadow Spear. I'll uh, bring back the Sanctum of Eugene. Probably, I guess I had all this dust in my deck. Maybe I should bring in a third one. Maybe. Um, yes. Okay. Can we reveal the Vow of Destiny? Bye bye. Huh. Oh, I want to draw four. Man, if the Vow of Destiny didn't happen. If only the Vow of Destiny didn't happen. No, I think the best card of the bunch is Yugin's Labyrinth. It's actual, factual ancient tomb. I can do turn one mimic, turn two thought here, like in the old Razi Winter days. Probably not good enough, but you know, maybe my opponent doesn't have a strong start and it is good enough. On the play, hopefully it's good enough. Donna Seer. Oh, there's no counter, zero mana. Four four. Okay. Utana. Um I think I have to take Tamio meets the circle story, right? I think this is this is actually a bomb here. Cause it lets them um make infinite tokens. I suck the bubble. Okay, they drew Saga. Strong. They can do two mana Emery. We can kill that with K Command. Exclamation mark deck. Uh, there's the deck list. But no, I don't play. Oh, well, Drazi Linebreaker. I mean, this is so much damage. How can I pass up on this? Like, I don't even want to count. To mania questi. It's turn three. I'm attacking for thirteen. And my point is a sixteen. 
it blocked the wrong one because that thing is trample. Yeah, this one threatens 7 damage for 3 mana because it even pumped the mimic. I think it was very important that this card at this time you'll meet the story cycle because circle because it's would it would have like saved them the damage and a ton of damage like six uh what do i do here i can go k command what's well, a five i think i'll do k command now i guess i don't want to do it before because i can draw like like make tokens and draw because i can draw another line breaker I also can't kill the saga, but no, nah, I think I'll do I'll do that, yeah. I'll do make tokens and draw. Actually, I'm lethal. If I just kill the token, I'm I'm lethal. I'm lethal anyway, this thing is trample. What am I talking about? Right, let's do this. Draw exile. Three. Random. Boom. Okay, let's go. Two zero. Strong start for the old Razi Agro. This card has still uh, not be showed, but uh, you know. It's a seven drop that I can pitch, so worst case scenario. I'll be right back, take a bathroom break, don't go anywhere. Let's go round number three. We got Double Devourer of Destiny to show. It's not amazing to show Double Devourer because, you know, but yeah, for example, now we don't see any dual land. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a double land. So I'm gonna say no to this. And then I get to look at more, four more cards to find. Oh, still no, still no, no double land. That's kind of unfortunate. But it's okay. I can go turn one, nothing. Turn two, either they're all at the end. Turn three, line breaker. What do we do on turn four? Maybe call this command is the card I want among these. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I wanted to find an Ugin's Labyrinth and Eldrazi Temple. Look at eight cards, they didn't find any. Kind of unlucky, kind of unlucky, but it's okay. Bonjour, Flonino. Dreams of steel and oil, wow. They took my two drop away. Name of Dradzi and pass. I was burned, solid, solid. What's the card that makes me the most happy when I play it? At the moment, it's probably what of the Reliquary, the green-black 2-2 that uh, sacrifice creatures, picks up land. Card makes me very happy when I play it. Burn video will go out uh, tomorrow on YouTube channel. Today we got Mill. And we're going to turn a weekend in Prague, yes, in Europe. Okay, I'm glad uh, that I Kamadoska. I'm glad I got Kozix command because my opponent has the has the combo there and just need to to break it. Okay, command. Actually, what do I break this? What do I break among these? Yeah, I think my deck now is just a little bit too weak. Do I break do I break 
pride or do I break God of Souls? Honestly, I don't think it matters much. I think I'm screwed this game. I'm gonna draw a card. I think when you do X equal one, it's better to draw. I want lands. I want the. Oh, there it is. Okay. That or Gin's Labyrinth. They have Flage too, hmm. but obviously I don't have enough. Do I want to, do I want to, is there a world where I race? I don't think so. I mean, I can attack for four. I probably should race or rather attack because like they have removal spells for sure. So might as well cash in my four damage, even though it might not end up happening. Might not end up mattering. This could be a game where we win with the Sire, honestly. The seven mana Sire. Spell bomb. Not impressive. They don't have Cities Bless yet. Main deck spell bomb. That's so weird. What's that? Johnny. Oh wow. You got a million tokens. Okay. This game is probably over. I'll uh, keep on clicking some buttons, although I, mean, I guess I have all this dust in my deck, but I don't even have a I guess I do have seven lands now with the token. Uh, do I want to attack for a lot? Does this give haste? Yeah. Attack with a spawn. Sure. I will. I guess the spawn is my seventh mana. Don't really want to trade a spawn for a cat. My opponent can already escape flage. Based. I was gonna quickly count if I'm dead. If I'm dead, I concede. Uh, but there's a world where my Eldrazi sponsor. Oh no, never mind. They flip a Johnny too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't think about that. Cause they draw all this dust, and I would have had seven mana. Va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene. Sideboarding. I on the play, I am playing against a strong deck, but I, I believe in the Sire in this matchup. Yeah, I think this, this whole plan here seems uh, not so good, honestly. Flonino, have you checked the Arachnus midrange deck video I posted? That maybe is interesting to you. Similar to Jund. I think this is a keep. Turn two, mimic. Turn one, mimic. Turn two, K command for two. 
What meshup is Granny Sphere for? Store. Definitely not boards. Yeah, we have a third all is dust in the side. Two, two main, one side. And before, sure. Red? Ragathon. Okay. Right. Thunder Seer, good draw. This set is these cards are all from the same no, that's not true. That's not true. This is from Rise of Eldrazi. This is from Battle of Zen the cards. Players can't gain life. Damage can't be prevented. When enters, it deals damage to a player with non-basic lands to control. Oh, man. Uh, what do I take here? Maybe I take Bolt. Nah, let's just be... Yeah, I'll take Bolt. Mostly because I'm I will just take the two for one, I think. If, if they attack, I block and they bolt it, so. It was okay, guys. It's still burn, you know? Wow, opponent conceded? You don't, you, how does it work, Boris opponent? You only want to play when you win? Eh? Vaffanculo, va a te e ragavan. Alright. Uh, in the Gemstone Cavern, e go. I, th I think the, 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 you know, a lot of people are attracted by that burn video. It will be out tomorrow. It went well. We went 2-1. Nothing, nothing. I think to be ashamed of. All right, this is another keep. I'll uh, pitch one of these devourer to Yugin's Labyrinth. What am I searching for now? Maybe all this dust. Wait, want to concede on turn two? I have Yugin's Labyrinth. Uh, okay, man. These four cards. Oh man, well, look! Look how good they are. Look how good they are! Orca puttana! <sighs> I think I want more close decks command. I think that's just the best card of my deck. Sorry, all the other cards are also very good. It's just, I have to choose one. It's difficult. I should go Mimic first or all our all DM first. Hmm. Maybe it was actually the all the end. The go Johnny now. Strong. Ah, you have bow masters. Ah, oh, I'm enculato. Well, let's do this. Yeah, maybe the K command was bad. I should have just taken out Drazi Temple. If I had a eat that around at the end, it would have been so much damage. It would have been so much damage. It would have been, what, seven? Six, maybe, yeah. Anyway, that's what they don't have a removal spell for it. Could be an Eldrazi Temple. Maybe, maybe, maybe better choice. Lage? Hmm. Okay. A K Command can, can exalt Lage as well. Lend? Lend? Ooh, strong land. Strong land.
I'll pass. All right, now I'm happy I picked up because of command. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do you do there? Planes, planes, Ajani. Kenny. I think ability on the stack, I'll exile Ajani and draw. Do I want to draw or do I want to? Definitely exile Ajani. Do I want to draw or do I want to make tokens? Because I'm making three tokens. I kind of want to draw. I think I have enough cards at the moment. A draw triggers Bowmaster, you're right. All right. Yeah, then let's make tokens. I eventually, I have to, like, Kozel's command the Fledge in the Graveyard, too, so... All right, now. If I play the Deralds the end, I can also play the Varor. So I think it's all right. I'll kill my tokens, but I think it's all right. Because it discounts this. Or I could uh, just play the Varor and hold the spawn. No, I think I want to do that, yeah. So it either rolls the end and I'll go devourer. But I can't flage from the graveyard. I guess they can if they go bolt end of turn. But even if they flage, it's okay. I have cause of command, I can I can kill it. I won't kill the 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 orc. I just kill the cat. I guess it exiles, so I could have exiled the orc. Yeah. That's okay. The cat is I mean, trades with uh, it that are all to the end. She attacked first. Fortunately, magic cards follow the summoning sick rule. You know the games? Can't attack. Oh, you mean with the token? No, but like if they block, I can't cast it. That are, I can't cast the seven seven anymore. Or if they push. My opponent went porco dici. My opponent went static prison the thing amped into bombardment. E la Madonna. Anche meno però, eh. Io caro. All right. I drew a very good one though. I drew a very good one though. This one can finally save me. Yeah, exact grape to plus tokens is my plan here. White, red, ragaban. Okay. I'll take it all. How much is that? Six. Six, I go to eight, potentially four. Flage is lethal next turn. I guess I'll exile it, but it's lethal from hand. Yeah, that's okay. I don't want to make tokens and block, because then I don't have seven mana to do this thing. This thing can win me the game. Can it? No, probably not. Probably I'm dead on board anyway to bombardment. Hmm, let's see what I reveal. Ragavan? Prismatic Beast, okay. Yeah, bombardment's so good against life and creatures. But this is a stramp. Eh, no, pure quello, porca boia. All right, chat. Now we have a problem. Did you gain life this turn, opponent? Hmm. Oh, look, my opponent did not gain life. And next turn... I think this is actually not that good. So I'm just... Ignore it, and I'll stick to the plan. I'll stick to the plan. The plan is, exile your graveyard, exile your graveyard, and make tokens. Okay. 
Now, untap. Hopefully they let me untap with the tokens. They shoot all three? Not that bad. If they shoot all three, it's not that bad. If they shoot two, I can still top deck a land. All right, they don't shoot anything. I go land, and I go sire. Due, tre, cinque, sei, sette. All right, guys, we got this big bomb into play. Now, there's a world where we still lose, but we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we can finally play this card for the first time in the league, and it does a lot here. It has lifelink, it has trample, so, you know, if it attacks, it gains 7 life for sure, they can block and sack. Fortunately, word 7 life does not matter here, so if they draw a removal spell, that's the downside. Let's see. Let me take a screenshot. Okay, I think opponent just played Ari Meza. So I think we may actually win this game. Ragadash. People say you have to block the pride. Oh, if I block like this. How much damage? I have zero cards in it. How much damage do I take? Two, I get a six, and they can shoot me five. So I think I'm, I lie, I leave and I win. I think I leave and I win. But lifelink. Yeah, we win. What's that? Oh, Giganta? Sure. We even get Static Prison next turn. Back. Nice. K Command. And just bada boom. Yeah, CROP. It, it was. It was. It was. I don't think there was. I mean, all this dust obviously would have would have saved me there, but uh, a creature that saved me there, it was not easy to find it. You know, people opened a foil Seer of Seven Death in his collector booster last weekend. A. A Gianni. Babine. Let's jump. Yeah, but you already sold it, so you don't want to jump its price. <laughs> right, when it wants to flip Kozilek, sorry, Ajani, I'll do Kozilek's return. Exalt target creature. Make seven tokens. Good morning, good morning. And they concede. Woohoo! The sire of seven deaths wins the game. 
All right. Three zero. Let's go. YouTube. Is this card super expensive? I don't know. This card reads like super expensive. Every word it has adds five euros. So that's right. Thirty. I'm gonna assume five euros per word. So thirty-five euros. Just started with a full playset just to try it, and because I'm on this like God account, so all the cards are free. But uh, I don't know if it's a four of. Again, I don't even know if you should play without the one ring. It's just that just don't play it anymore. Okay, on the play with the most beautiful hand I can think of. Offering names view is down. No. Well, we can still name it to insult it. It's the only time. Okay. So that's a lot of Eldrazi I'm playing against today. Between this league and the Burn League. Yeah, I think you have to play Sire in a deck that actually cares about the 7 life from a ward. You play like in a ramp deck. Plus, like, the ramp deck is bad anyway. I, I like... I like this better. Cabin of Sauce. Uh, there's an option between these two. Landbreaker deals so much damage. I think I have to go Landbreaker. I don't know, maybe Flesh Raker is better. But this is just... Like, this is 8 damage on turn 2, on the play. But this is much better than Burn. <laughs> Maybe, maybe if I went Flesh Raker, I would have dealt more damage this turn. I don't know. Can someone do the math? Can someone do the math? <laughs> if I went, I guess I can do it. I don't have much else to do. Oh wait, I have lethal. <laughs> I killed you on turn three. <laughs> 20 damage! Just a full 20! The full 20! No one less. Clean math here. Turn 1, the arrow's the end. Turn 2, and breaker. Turn 3, flesh raker. 20 damage. Heads. This one, this, this one felt like... I don't know. It felt, it felt weird. It felt too quick. Too fast. Oh, we'd want the Jemison Caverns. Do I want to side in the Wastecape Battle Mage? Magical Embugged. Eh, me Magical Land, you know, say that, Dio Caro. Oh. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, all this stuff sucks. I'll take it out. Um, you want to bring this? Is it? Is it good? What do you kill? Oh, I guess you can kill the ring with this. Maybe Cake Man is bad? Nah. I don't know what to side. I can't side the seven drop. Maybe I'll grab mimic. Oh, like this. A word breaker. I don't know. Cost green mana. This deck doesn't have that many sources.
that was your wish of my Hogan being unbanned will ever come true. <laughs> of course not. No, 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 no. You don't want to. You don't want to unban that. Now this is this deck is cool or less. You just have like this red card, which is very actually very good. Ooh, I think that's gonna turn one. Sheesh. Keep. Land a warp might. Land turn one Ultrazi line breaker. Four three attack. You can't look at Brisco like a tier stomach. Boom. My preview card, by the way. I wouldn't play these exact two lands last game before dying. I mean, look. I guess I can do this and kill your talisman. Maybe it's better than playing Line Breaker. Yeah, let's do that. Asked with Green Kicker. I don't know, maybe it was better to do a Line Breaker. Not sure. A lot of damage anyway. Do you have Natural Tron? Lucky. Hmm. Maybe I should have kept this for a ring. I don't know. I kind of wanted to kill the green source because they could have gone so with Miko Spawn and found Tron. Mr. Seri, hello. Thank you. Eh, unfortunately, I can't do... A cheap leg, yeah. So... I'll just pass here. It's almost your targets. All right, let's hope they don't ring chain. Although that deck is designed to do that. They have Karn and rings for the ring chain. Nine mana, eh? Unfortunately, this card has two targets, so I can't brick it. So yeah, you got it. Mr. Seri, thank you for the second month. Appreciate that. Oh, oh, what's this? Another another one? Barista Mobile. Okay. No sound of Turuturu? Turu. Mm, well, that's fine. Hello, at chat. We gotta think about this now. We gotta think about this. What do we do with K Command? I think I'll kill Ballista and make tokens. Three tokens. Exotic creature, make tokens. Make tokens, exotic creature. Only three, but okay. I'll kill my battle mage in response. My opponent is at 12 damage. How much damage do I have here? Of 
Surprised I only have one hasty creature. I only have one hasty creature, right? Although, if I go Mimic Line Breaker, I can attack for 8. So I think my play will be Tonot Seer Line Breaker this turn. I don't I don't think I want to play Mimic. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, no, this thing, this thing doesn't have haste. Yeah, two lands as expected. Then I do this. I'll pump the Thonots here because it's one more damage. You want to do post combat mimic? Hmm. I don't think so. Do you think so? Why would you do post combat mimic? Just the tax or two. If the key line breaker, hmm. Well, if the key line breaker, this attacks, whereas this pawn doesn't do anything. But I guess this pawn can cast a seven drop, which I have in my deck eight. So I'd rather keep them. All right, my opponent has a four life. A well, things can go poorly. Of course, they're playing as the one ring, but also they can die. Hello! Okay, they're thinking and they don't concede. This blah, blah, blah. Okay, this means I'm gonna get carned again. Sorry, ringed again. Or maybe worst. Who knows? If you play ring... There's hope. Thankfully, Sire, the 7-7 seven, seven is not an artifact that you can pick up with Karn. Otherwise, that card is... That card would be the best target ever for, for, for Karn. I'm gonna go Walking Barista. They play it for five and they ping my line breaker. Okay. Yeah, let's just, let's just uh, draw another one. What's the problem? Let's draw another line breaker for the win. Or even a removal spell wins. Kozix Command? Dismember? Devour of Destiny, if I could have it. Okay. I'll attack you. Oh no! No, son coyones, son coyones, son coyones, son coyones, son coyones. Undo, undo. Undo, you can't. I'm supposed to cast it pre combat. And I kill both of my spawns. Son coyone, mamma mia, che coyone. Ah. Uh... Ma che mi slita, ma va a cagare. Res mimic, go. You're a one. 
You tap the ring. You have car and you can get back another ring. You tap. So, pen, you play Ula Pog. Mm -hmm. You exile ring and thumb that's your draw card. Mm hmm. What do you what do you do with Karn? Do you have life gainers? If you don't have life, oh, you play your own town. Let's see here. You take my Devour of Destiny. I could have been in play. It's okay. Draw. Let's see here. Not gonna give up here. I can still draw my 3 3 3 3 haste and have a game. Okay, I can't anymore. Oh, I guess they can't cast this Miko Spawn. They don't have green mana. Hey, Karn. Okay. You attack me? Okay. Uh, yeah, so I take this. I top deck my 3-3 three, three with haste, and I, oh, I don't win, because there's the ring protection. So I think now I don't have outs. Oh wow, they can make green mana. This deals one damage to you. <laughs> Wait, does it? I don't know. Can they? Oh, let's hear it again. I don't know if I'm dead or not, but uh, I'll uh, keep playing. Oh, I can't target because of the one ring. True, true, true. Um, but pass. And they probably can just get another ring with Karn. Okay, they make me chump block this. Oh no, they drew another one. Okay, I have no more outs. All right. Okay, well, close game, close game. Let's go game three. Uh, this end is too weak. Mulligan.
His is also weak, but I'll keep it. I'm already on six, so I don't want to go further down. Now the question is, do I want to bottom Kozilek's command or Iditarald's the end? Both of them are useless if I draw land, but both of them are my turn to play if I don't draw land. Would I rather cycle to draw land or play another it that arouse the end? I think I'd rather play another it that arouse the end, so I'm gonna bottom close this command. Now if I draw land, I'm solid. I don't draw land. It's probably a little bit too weak, but we'll see. Okay, there it is. That's that's the land I wanted to draw. Perfect. Could have been a better land, but can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. I'll play Flesh Raker and I'll attack for two. Next turn, you know, things can happen. Yeah, if we draw the Razi Temple. Okay, well, it's cost uh, less mana, a lot less mana, cost five, which I will maybe have next turn, attack for seven. Is it time for my opponent to start ringing me? Command for one. Mm hmm. It's right on bottom. Forest. Mm hmm. Or Mika spawn. Okay. Could I play the Thunders here? I could have not. Now, now, do I want to go Thought Not or do I want to go Sire? I don't want to go Sire. Like, Word Pay 7 Life. Yeah, I want to go Sire. Play 5, play Sire. 2 damage to 13. The attack with all, even with the spawn, I think. Like, if you want to block the spawn with that, I think I'm okay. I could do a pre combat because if you trade with the, this, then I. Yeah. Okay. You're eight? Sure, you can play ring. Okay, now you have Tron. Obviously, all this dust is a problem. Sorry, all this dust. The Oblivion Stone, but they don't play that anymore. They only play all this dust, which does nothing. So they can go ring. Or Karn into ring. That's okay. I can't thought not see you if you go Karn into ring.
everything else that's not the ring. I don't think it can save you. This thing is worth pay seven life and you're eight life. This thing also you no know, deals damage, so even the even the ring even protects you from this. Yeah, it, it does not, because it deals one damage. Ring does not protect you, does it not? Does it deals one damage? Wilmog be bad? No, Wilmog, you're dead on board. Oh, yes, Wilmog can block this. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Wilmog be bad. I don't think my opponent, um, I mean, even if they play a ring, sure, they save one turn, but like, what's what's their end game? Oh, they got Ensnaring Bridge. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Damage on that. Well, I have lethal, hopefully. I think we all face. And then I play Thonuts here for the win. All right, 4-0, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get this trophy? I'm very glad on the Mulligan decision, I kept the uh, Idaralzian over Kozilek's command. Let's go. The Burn League went all right. We went 3-2. It will be out on YouTube tomorrow. The Sire, the New Deal. Well... I don't know how much this card did, but uh, I guess it definitely made this deck more a uh, little bit more thick, you can say. It won one game versus energy, that's true. It won game three against energy. Yeah. I mean, this game, did. it also was good in this game, because my opponent had to go for bridge. You know, if this card wasn't here, opponent... Would have maybe gone for something else. I think if they just go for a ring. Like, they just untap. But what's really their plan? I don't know. They draw three, but what's their plan eventually? Let's go. Sire of seven deaths. Buy high, never sell. It's possible that this card is cheap right now. It's possible. Like how much it is? Like 30 euros? It's is it seems like a meme card, but once you face it, once your opponent casts it, it doesn't seem like a meme card anymore, you know? It's like the typical card that reads as a children card, but uh, it has way too many stats to just be underlooked, overlooked. It's like shield read, basically. Let's go, I believe. Yes, I believe. All right, chat, after this, I have to do one thing. I'll say that after the, the the league on stream. All right, on the draw for the final. Vamos. It's 15 euro. 
in Europe? Hmm. Let me see how much is it. No, I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy it. All right. This hand, what does it do? Well, this hand sucks. This hand just is weak. This hand is weak, but how good it is with, with an Eldrazi Temple. Yeah, it's, I think it's only Eldrazi Temple that saves this hand. The Mango of the Past would have kept, but the Mango of the Future will mulligan. All right. Keep. Bottom, doesn't matter. Oh, mountain and Pitch Prismatic Vista. I guess against Labyrinth sucks. Allora, I'll bottom Mountain and Pitch against Labyrinth. So I have fast mana here. Gemstone mine. Ooh. My oh, that's Neoform. Sheesh! For the trophy against Neoform? Against the actual factual luckiest deck in the world? Well, it's it's all about them. Arch we're not gonna do anything this game. We just have to hope our opponent bricks. That's our final boss. Completely out of our hands. That's our final boss. I don't I don't think anybody plays these two cards. I made a video with Neoform last uh, last week. We won a game every every league. Fortunately, sorry, we won a game every match. Unfortunately, we went 1-4 overall, but we won a game every match. So the completely random deck. Wow, they leave both on top. Jeez. Okay, so we're gonna get we're gonna get hit by the Neo from next turn, and that's okay. They can still like draw 14 to lose. That deck is completely random, so anything can happen, and and anything that happen you will accept it. Is that it's fate? They'll they'll they'll, be, they'll they'll win against you and lose against everyone else. But it is what it is. You make a land drop, you play Zuran Orb, you play uh, Summoner Spock. Okay, I'm glad they do Summoner Spock because they mean that that means that they either go off now or lose the game. Whereas if they went for just all those a Rider Neoform, that you can just lose to Grizzle Brand. They don't need to combo. But with Summoner Spock, they have to combo. So now they draw seven, they can like suck their land, draw seven more. But if they don't find a Shoal, uh, which they did. Yeah, so I'm gonna have six and go to the bathroom, but it feels like we this feels like we lost. We lost. Wait, Soaring? I had a court of calling to kill my opponent. Soaring feels much faster. Alright, sideboard. Let's bring in four train sphere. Does Solid Jailer do anything? I don't think so. Yeah, if you are interested in my opponent deck, I made a video with it. It's on it's on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't think Jailer does anything. Honestly, my game plan is really whatever. I think I'm gonna bring in all this dust. Like, I just need to put prison elements fast and and win that way everything else doesn't matter a oh, dismember is okay you're right actually dismember may be okay yeah Blue would probably have some. Blue would probably. Have, I guess the pocket negation they cited out. So yeah, yeah, it could be. All right. On the play. Uh, that's a keep. One covering is fine.
Uh, I don't know what flute has the name. I guess we just name Alos our rider, right? They can't do anything if we name Alos our rider. They found all as a rider. Don't they name Grizzabrand? I mean they can't they cannot put Grizzabrand into play. If I stop the others are rider. They can activate it? <laughs> you know, they can attack with it? Have you ever you know the key, the stats of Grizzabrand? <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you want to flute anything else than this. Like this is literally the whole thing of their deck. Uh, I'm gonna get a mountain and play flute. Play flute. I don't know why I let you untap. That was, I guess, for some negation, but you don't even play that. Let's play flute. Yeah, I guess you can pack the negation now. Yeah, it made no sense for me to do this in upkeep. Anyway, Alazar Rider. That's the name, right? Yeah. Go. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah never mind. It costs five. It costs, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. It's okay. It costs three, I guess. For some reason, I thought it, they couldn't cast it. Hmm. Yeah, it's not that good, actually. It's not that good. It's really not that good. For some reason, I thought this was like a medley mage. It's not a medley mage. Hmm. Yeah. That was that was not a smart play. Hmm. So they just go land. Others are rider next turn, and then I do nothing, and then they go neoform and I die. I think that's what's happening. Nitrous claim. All right, that also that also works. So yeah, if you have the combo, I can't do anything and die. Maybe you don't have it. Again, when I played that deck, it was very much like it doesn't seem like it's the case. It very much seems like. I am going to die. My opponent had it all. They just didn't have anything and they just abundant harvest into a rider. That's crazy. We lose. No trophy. Neoform stopped our trophy. Robbed. Actual robbed. Cause like, yeah. No, I mean, maybe today brick. They, have, they draw zero nourishing shoal. I've done that a couple of times. I guess I can gain six and draw seven again. It is what it is. No trophy for our for a deck. Rip. Ah, that's how they play Soarin with Mox Amber. I see. So my line of winning was much, much harder. Because you have to like, put all your creatures into play and then Court of Calling for Thassa's Oracle. That is, my opponent line is much simple with uh, Soarin.
41 cards in their hand. Black. Mox Amber. And then they play the Soren. I don't have this member, unfortunately. <laughs> that definitely gained a lot of life. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, no dismember. It'd be good here. If I go dismember, they have zero cards in the deck. I guess they can endurance. Take how much damage? 60? We'll never know. All right. All right. The dream is dead. The dream is dead. We got robbed by Neoform. It is what it is. <laughs> Nonetheless, it was a fun league. I hope you enjoyed the Sire of Seven Death action in Modern. Almost trophy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day. If you watch on YouTube, make sure to subscribe.